In this video, I'm going to show you how to produce robust standard errors in R. And I'm going to basically provide you with some code that gives you a nice summary command that does this all in one fell swoop. Uh, this is code that's written by someone else, but I'm using their code instead of my own function that I wrote because their, uh, their code actually works uh, a lot more flexibly than mine does. So why reinvent the wheel? That's one of the big advantages of R. First, we need some data, and we need to obtain a regression model. That's sort of old hat for us. We can read in data using the, the foreign library, um, and then we can get our regression object using the lm command. And once we have our regression object, the usual thing to do is to just use this summary command to summarize our regression object and it's going to produce standard errors and estimates give us t-values based on those standard errors and everything the regression software made an assumption of homoscedasticity of constant variance with respect to these predictors and if that assumption is not true and in many applications it's not then it, these standard errors are just wrong it turns out that the estimates are just fine as long as you sort of had the main part of your regression specified well, but the standard errors are just incorrectly specified, and so we can't really do inference with them because we're, we're basing this off of an assumption that's not literally true. The standard fix in Stata is to use the white standard error correction, and the way you do that is you just, after a regress command, you just type robust. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick and simple way uh, to get your corrected uh, standard errors. These heteroscedastic consistent standard errors are going to be perfectly equivalent to what you would produce in Stata. This was a special function that was written by John Fox. John Fox also wrote this HCCM um, function that basically does all this correction all these corrections in the car library. See here's the here's the script file here. Um, you run this code first before anything. Save that to your default workspace. You can use this summary R command as many times as you want. You can just use it summary R and then you specify the type of correction that you'll want. The standard or the classical one that White proposed way back in 1980 was the HC0 correction. Um, there's an HC1 correction that is state as default. There's an HC2 correction, which is unbiased under homoscedasticity. And then there's the HC3 uh, correction. And this is, the, uh, this is the most conservative correction, but it's also the one that performs the best under heteroscedastic uh, data. So if your data and model are heteroscedastic, you, you want to use the HC3. Fortunately for us, if we don't specify the type, we just sort of run summary r on our linear models object let's go ahead and do that you can see we get new standard errors uh, they're a little bit different from the old ones and if we had a model with a great degree of heteroscedasticity these standard errors would be more reliable and you can see uh, it actually tells you in the output here which uh, which correction we ended up using and so this one's sort of more conservative and to the extent you want to be more conservative this is this is going to be the way to go so that's how you just summarize your main regression output um, and you may also wonder well how do you do f tests well it turns out that also in the car library is this linear hypothesis command and uh, this is how we would do f tests anyway we would use the linear hypothesis command use our model and we can specify our hypothesis tests or a list of hypothesis tests here in this uh, in this second argument. If you want to see more of this, I have another video on this. As if you want to correct for heteroscedasticity, you can just use this white dot adjust option in the linear hypothesis command, and that will allow you to adjust for heteroscedasticity. And you can you can use any of these different methods up here. You can use HC0, HC1, HC2, or HC3. So just to give you a flavor for it, we could do HC3. So that did a linear hypothesis test of 
education plus parents education equals one those coefficients add up to one and we use the uh, the HC3 correction um, and if we wanted to use the HC0 correction just to see how that looks differently we could use the HC0 correction you can see the syntax now so if you, you want to use R to um, produce robust standard errors and do hypothesis testing using robust standard errors well this is the way to do it um, you can you can use this summary R command um, which is a, a really great way to to produce that table of output that we're so familiar with uh, it feels very much like what what you do in Stata except for you just uh, instead of typing robust after regress you summary R instead of summary and you get the robust standard errors that that you were after so hopefully this is a nice quick overview of how to produce robust standard errors in R and hopefully this will be useful